Hello, and welcome to what might possibly be the craziest Minecraft server I've ever seen in my life. Like, there's custom textures, there's friggin' NPCs, there's challenges, there's this frickin' locator at the top that, like, tells me the direction I need to go. I've done a few things, and right now I need to find this thing called the Ruby Exchange. I guess I'm getting money. But look at that! They've got this water fountain with this spinning earth, like, square thing, and then... Look over there! It's a freaking neon sign! Watch it! It blinks! How crazy is that? Oh my god! So this is called, I believe, the Origin server, right? Yeah, Origin Realms. Uh, I'll put the IP down. And it's just so cool to look around! Uh, I believe the guy who makes this is a YouTuber. Uh, I'll put his channel down there as well. But oh my god, look! Look at this dude! They've got ceiling fans! Frickin' ceiling fans in Minecraft! Ah! Watch where you're hammering, pal. Is that a turkey up there? It's a frickin' so it even has the little drawstring! Oh my god! But how how crazy is this? Oh my god! Oh, I guess here's the Ruby Exchange. Dude, dude, look at his top hat. I I need to change my skin now. I've had this skin for a while now. I think I need to change it. Let's see, do we go in this way, I guess? Is that the guy from the office? Wait, do I... here we go. Oh my god, look at that. Oh, uh, let's see, here we go. Click on him, oh my god, look at that. It's got little cutscenes for this. Welcome to the Ruby Exchange. Here we are responsible for keeping everyone's wealth safe. How do I... Oh, I just punch him. <laughs> That's a bit of a a jerk way to do it. Just you want to keep the conversation going, so you just deck the dude right in the face. <laughs> Wait, no, I need to learn. Oh, look at this! It's a cutscene. Rubies are used for many things. Use them for efficiently. You need to store them in your bank account to use them efficiently. Look, rubies! Oh my god! Is that jazz? I'm sure I could spare three of my own to get you started. Go along and deposit them over here. They've got jazz playing in Minecraft. What the hell is this? Uh, well, it looks like I got myself some rubies. I kind of want to just call them rupees. Look, pots, which I think are actually in the game now. Uh, but I don't think it looks like that. So I deposit them here. One, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, maybe I deposit them up this way. Uh, nope. I'm guessing back down. Whoop. Whoop. Uh, so it does look like I need to deposit them here. Okay, there we go. I got 53 rupees. Awesome. Now speak with the banks at Robin Banks at the desk. Oh, his name is Robin. Robin, as in Robin, you blind. Hello, fellow player. Look at you go. That wasn't too tricky. Now was it? Now you can buy whatever you like around town. Yay. My friend Paula sells apples near the fountain. You should say hi. Find Paula. And purchase something. Ooh, it's raining. Alright, so let's go find Paula. Paula. Is this Paula? Did, are you Paula? Uh, no, you're not Paula. Paula must be this way. Uh, are you Paula? Yeah, I think you're Paula. Here we go. What's that? Robin sent you? Any? Yeah, I'll take a few apples. Cool. Thank you. Alright, cool. Speak with Paula's husband. Uh, I promise I was not putting any moves on your wife. Greetings, thanks for visiting my wife Paula's stall. Any friend of hers is a friend of mine, Punch. Don't forget, you can use rubies to buy, sell, trade around town. There are plenty of stalls about. Take a moment to explore Origin Isles whenever... Okay, so the text does go by a bit too quickly for me to read. I'm not much of a reader. Look, it's, it's a little frickin' dolphin shooting water out of its mouth, and then up there, it's a... Horse? Pegasus? No, it's a giant bird. Let's see. This way. There's a hot air balloon. 
Have you had a chance to visit Jacko's farm yet? I hear he has something for you. Oh, I love surprises. Uh, I have not. I don't know where Jacko's farm is or who the heck Jacko is. Are you Jacko? No, you're Abram. Oh, look, it's CLA. I remember seeing in a video he brought them early onto the server. So I think he's got all three mobs that were supposed to be added in. Or, oh, well, here we go. Let's talk to this guy. There's a lot of cool mechanics to explore on our network, and I'll help you out. All right, cool. Thank you. We'll go talk to him. Look at his giant balloon hat for the balloon. Look at the hot air balloon. Look at that little, like, fire in there, like the ropes. Oh, my God, just... The sheer talent involved in this. Traveler Skies, looking for clear, perfect flight. Where are you heading today? Let's see. Spawn. Realms, go to your own personal realm or visit one you're invited to. Resource Worlds, visit and open world gathering blocks. And then Homes, create personal warp points at locations that mean the most. Neat. Okay, well, let's go to... Let's go to Resource Gathering. Oh, oh wow, look. Oh, wait, these are pebbles. Okay, so we got an open world. Looks like no mobs are out currently. I found a turkey. Is it like there's just wild turkeys we can find? Look at the freaking plants. But it looks like we're just back to the start of the game, I guess. Just mining up some wood. Only what I got is acacia wood. This takes quite a while. There, there we go. I earned this rotten flesh. It is mine. All right, let's let's get some uh, tools started. So we'll go for. I was pretty sure I had gear. Anyways, I've been playing on. So I was playing on PS4 for a long time and building a lot of stuff, and it was a lot of fun. I made. Tardises in different worlds, and that's a neat rock. I want this rock. Can I get this rock? I got the rock. Sorry, Dwayne, but you're staying with me now. But there were some weird glitches and stuff in it, so now I'm back to PC, and I just, I, I remembered this realm and was like, yeah, I kind of want to play on that and see what that's up to, because I remember being in such awe of it, and now I'm even in more awe of it, because I didn't really explore much last time. So, it, it is crazy. And this is my first video I've made in quite a while. I go through phases where I want to make videos and phases where I don't. I've been focusing a lot on photography, though. On my days where I'm not super busy with work or just exhausted from it. So, that's been fun. Uh, working on getting a few new lenses. I want to get a really nice telephoto lens. So, that way I can do some nebula photography. Because it just it looks cool. I like it. All right, let's get a few of these tools going. Got that. I need more sticks. Get myself that. Need that axe. And then I forgot how to make a sword for a second. Boop, boop. There we go. I also have done something that is making recording so much easier that I had the ability to do all along but never did. I don't know why. I just never did. Yeah, that's right. Sorry for all you OCD people. You're going to stare at that block. You're going to stare at it. Look at that empty block right there. I couldn't mind these other three and make it nice and perfect. But I won't. <laughs> uh, that's the wrong button. That's F1. Oh my god, it's been so long. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. Here we go. I remember. Um, so I was sitting there... For years, I've basically, I've been using OBS, right? Uh, before that, I was using Bandicam. And Bandicam, I had a hot key on. Is that a balloon? What? Okay. Okay, hold on. I want to see what this is. <laughs> I keep getting distracted from the story I'm trying to tell. <laughs> oh, okay. Wait, where did the balloon go? No, you get back here. Get back here. Get back here. Get back here. Can I catch up with it? I don't know. It seems to be going pretty fast. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to catch up with it. I think I'll need a bow to shoot one down. 
Anyway, so on Bam Cam I used to have a hotkey, which allowed me to start and stop recording. And then for years I've been using OBS, but I just never assigned a hotkey, and I don't know why. I went through so much trouble with my Minecraft of like, or anything I would choose where like trying to start my recording, I almost thought I was about to fall off to my death for a second there. And I'd have to click off the window to start it. And then today, for whatever reason, I was like, wait a minute, hotkeys exist. And it's like, I could have done this all along. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't. It makes life so much simpler. Uh, I am missing a few blocks. Where did they go? Well, I did go pretty far out here, so probably they despawned, apparently. Uh-huh. Nope, here they are. 64. Uh, I'm going to need some more acacia. Some more wood in general. Uh, and then we'll head to the realms and see what it is. So now I've got my hot key. I've got my start key as home and then my end key as end, obviously. Because why wouldn't you do that? Uh, I tried using some of my macros that I have on my keyboard, but it just kept replacing those number i mean the macros with like e and stuff and i was like well that's not what i want i don't want e i want this macro so but oh well might as well get some food is that a zebra oh the zebra saw that murder of mine and just went running i'm not going to kill you mr zebra can i ride you i want to ride the zebra i want to ride the zebra let me ride the zebra Damn, this zebra's fast. Get back here. Holy crap. Okay, let's go. I'll grab this stick and let's go explore another world. So, do I have some commands? Home. Home. Z. Uh. Okay. Slash realm. Slash realms. Okay. Teleport to my home realm. Here we go. Oh, wait. Look. I don't know. This is all the gear I already had. Okay. So I believe this is actually the island I started working on beforehand, right? Maybe? Or is this spawn area? Hmm. Anyway, so this is my actual realm where I guess I can build stuff. Whoa, I want that over there. That is cool. Do, 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 do. Wait, there's my house. Yeah, I was like, I know I built here. Oh, yeah, because there's a border right there, and I couldn't go over to that island. Ah, I remember. I'm doing the same thing I did beforehand. That's slightly frustrating. Furnace. Look, even the furnace has a fancy little tag here to let me know it's a furnace. Alright, let's eat this. If I remember, I was actually struggling on what to do for the floor of this place that I was going to work on. I had this whole, I wanted to go with the, hey look, it's all my old gear. That's handy. Oh, look at this. I got all this resources here. Yay. All right. Well, let's get out the wood. And this is an okay style for a house, I would say. I don't know why I've got this like this. That's going to be annoying, actually. Uh, I don't know why I would have done it this way. Doesn't matter now. All right, let's see. Whoa. Oh, wait, I remember because I wasn't using oak planks. I was... Okay. I remember now. I was doing stripped logs. Then surely this must be regular oak, right? Ah! This is the problem with starting a project and then just never finishing it or even going back. You don't remember everything you were doing. So. This has just become Austin house building tutorial. Just minus the tutorial part. 
Yeah, I love the way stripped oak looks as wallpaper. It's just kind of a bland wallpaper, but it looks nice. Or at least to me it does. Alright, so then I guess this was supposed to be the door. Then surely this should be here on the same plane. And I always do a double door. I never want to do a three wide door. That would just look weird. Although this entire house is slightly weird in design, not going to lie. Oh yeah, and I remember there's flowers on the trees. Like there are in regular Minecraft, the azalea trees. But I love the way the leaves and stuff looks in this. It's it's gorgeous. And then you got these little pebbles and the little tiny like mushrooms that grow out. And it's just, it's, this whole world has so much care put into it. Sorry, I didn't mean to hit the mic there. It's insane. Um... So big kudos to the creators of this like entire server. They did a phenomenal job. Wow, this recording's been going for 23 minutes. It doesn't even feel like that. It's a butterfly. Oh my god. Hello, butterfly. Look at its pretty colors. I want you to be my friend. Come back. Come back. Come back. Oh, I want to. <laughs> it's so adorable. Oh my god. You know what? I'm actually going to do this. Like, so take away this stuff. So this gives me some more oak wood to work with. And I'm going to replace that with stone. Because, you know, I like having a stone base on my house. I don't know why. I just always do. So I always go for that. Uh, I wonder if Cobble Deep Slate exists in this server. I'm pretty sure it should. Unless they replaced it with something. But I actually really love the way Cobble Deep Slate looks. Um, so I might go look for that later. But till then, just use regular sleep state. I mean, not sleep. Cheapskate. Ah! Deep Slate. Till then, just use Cobblestone. Do you mind... Ah, oh, crap. Looks like I got a pick to pick with you, pal. I keep forgetting this is... That's why it took me so long beforehand. I keep forgetting that in this version of Minecraft, because I've been playing PS4 for like a month now. I think it's been a month. I don't even know. It's been a while now. That like there's... I should need to figure out a way to connect this. There we go. That'll be fine. That you don't actually are not able to... That you Apparently not English. That you're not able to spam click anymore. You know, what I really wish was that there was a stone cutter for wood, like a wood cutter. And then slabs would be so much easier to get just like they are in friggin, you know, when you're using stone. And it's like, well, if they don't want to add a wood cutter into the game, why don't they just add that functionality to the stone cutter? And just make it to where anything that, you know, has a slab or a stair variant can be cut by the stone cutter. I mean, that would be amazing. Perfect. Okay, floor done. Let's put our torch right there. There we go. Add some light into here. Do I have any coal in here? I do not. Hmm, that's annoying. But fixable. Let's see. Here we go. We'll put you in there. Then you there and we'll get some charcoal going got a nice floor i'm gonna make what type of doors do i want now that i have a nice orange floor i feel like i should have I'm trying to figure out what type of floor i would want i don't know not floor door what type of door do i want what type of wood oak woods around should i just make it really crazy and just go with birch or should I do an acacia door? Acacia doors look rather nice. I do like acacia. But I don't know if that 
works with the rest. Is that a moth? There's moths too? Oh my god. You know what? Let's just get birch and oak. And we'll see which one looks better, shall we? You know what? I'm just going to message people on here and be like, Hello, everyone. How are all of you? I'm an incredibly slow typer. That is not a question mark. There we go. I want to see what people's responses are, if anyone actually sees it. I'm just a player. I'm not an elite or a pro. Nope. No one else is commenting. That's fine. I, I didn't want them to comment anyways. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see. We're going to make ourselves an acacia door. Some birch doors and some oak doors. And we'll see which one looks better, shall we? Probably not a good use of resources, and I'm going to end up with doors that I don't need. But, there's only one way to tell. Alright. Now, okay. It's not looking too bad. Okay, then we got basic old Minecraft, which actually I don't like having. Like, I like them going in, but at the same time, I like having my doors recessed. Faster. There we go, because if you put, like, slabs here and stuff, or stairs, then it looks really nice. So this is basic doors. I like them. I like them. They fit in with everything. How is the acacia going to look? That is my question. Ooh. You know what? Put some uh, trees here. I think this might be a winner. Not gonna lie, I kind of like it. I like it. Hello, Mr. Zombie. Um, let's, let's see here. I'm going to have to remove all this and turn this to regular dirt so the grass will grow. Uh, let's turn that into stairs. Let's see. Bam. Bam. I like it. You were nice and fine in the water, and then you come up and, you know what? No. You're a jerk. You're a jerk. Get out of here. I was letting him live, too. You saw that. You saw that, right, guys? He attacked me. I didn't attack him. All right. Now, should I put a roof? You know what I think I'm going to do, actually, is rather than have the roof be right there, I'm going to put stair here, here. Apparently, I need more wood. Did all this burn? Perfect. All right. Uh. Boop, boop. And then... Boop. And then we'll have this go here. And then underneath. Bam, bam. There we go. Nice. And then up here, we'll start having a bit of overhang. And we'll do a cobblestone area up here, just like we have it here. But this cobblestone area is going to be more like a tower. I just kind of feel in the towering mood. I'm not sure how this is going to come out or what it's going to look like. We'll end up seeing when we're done with it. Yep, yeah, this will be fine. Actually, you know what? I think I should make all these stairs. You know what, actually, I think this might look pretty cool with just the stone base here and then more wood at the top. And I think I could do pretty, pretty cool stuff with it. But I need to go get resources. So I need stone, and it doesn't seem like I got any major places for stone. So we'll go to resource world. Here we go. And we'll go, oh, I'm in a new area. No more acacia for me, I guess. That's not good. Hello, sunflowers. Aren't you pretty? Oh my god, look at this. Is that a mushroom person? What the heck? That mushroom person.
person blew me up. Please take me to the same area. I need my stuff back. Oh, joy. Ooh, iron. Oh, God, not you. I was just having a peaceful mining session, and then you had to show up, didn't ya? Didn't ya? I hate baby zombies. They are the worst. I seriously hope I have enough. I'm worried I don't. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I'm not gonna have enough, I'm not gonna have enough, I'm not gonna have enough. I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make it, I have enough, I have enough. I have more than enough. Yeah, this, this is perfect, this is fun. Watch all seven of these just disappear now. Wait, what? Okay, that would explain it. I was so confused. I was like, there we go. Cool. All right. Yeah, I think that looks quite nice. And then it looks very flat right now, but that is actually a neat little roof. I don't think you ever really see roofs like that. But then we're going to go up with some wood. This time, I think I'm just going to do regular wood. I am liking this sort of style, though, so far. Oh, my God, it's a dragonfly. This... This will never not surprise me with how amazing this is. There was a, there's a floating crafting table here. All right, we'll do this wall first. And I think to break it up, we'll have the oak planks here and here. Just any time there's like a curve. So like, bam, bam. Like so, just really make it look nice and interesting, I would say. You know what? I'm actually kind of liking it. We'll do that and then we'll have the roof going on top. And I think it'll look pretty nice. This is a very different style of build that I'm going for. That I don't think I've ever actually done this style before. So I kind of... Uh, we'll have to see how it turns out. But I'm thinking it's going to end up actually looking okay. Whoa! Oh, jeez. Okay, well that was weird. Alright, well I'm back. Thanks to that death, I can now talk in. Woo! 
All right, let's head back to the house. Let's go find it. It is this way. I really need to build like a pathway here. Uh, as you can see from that horrible time lapse. Yes, I do say horrible. It's not like the ones on Hermitcraft because I don't have a replay mod and I don't think I can put that on here. Uh, but it's fine. I got the outside exterior of the house finished and well, I'm, I'm okay with it. I think I might change that design there with the like wood frames there make them into something else maybe dark oak if i find it but we got a nice little tiered layered effect going it's uh it's an interesting shape for a house not gonna lie uh but we got the outside done i'll show you around i got glass put in which is really nice i love having glass uh, i've got the stairs that taper up to hold the top part which i am actually a fan of that uh, i'm glad that i decided to do that i think it makes it look just a tad bit better in my opinion uh, and yeah, it's just kind of as below as above, sort of, uh, right down to having the acacia as the ceiling for this area and the floor for that. I might go and put trap doors under there. I don't know, just to like fill in this space here a bit, or I'll put other logs there. Actually, I don't think you can put another slab there. Let me, let me try. Do I have any other slabs? Eh, it doesn't matter for now. But so far, yeah, there's nothing up here, nothing down there. I think up here would probably be the bedroom area uh, where I'd put all my gear. And then down here is like just, you know, another area. And then, of course, I've got a little bridge out here, which leads to the mainland. I'm going to have to make look a bit better. I'm going to get some dirt and then sort of put some plants around. Yeah, I think it'll end up looking pretty nice when I'm done with it. I do actually like having these orange doors here. It's just a neat little little i guess bit of color added in from this wooden area that makes it just kind of look nice to me anyways uh as for the chest i do need to move these so i think i'm gonna take the wood that i have here i'm gonna turn that all into there and then i'm gonna make some sticks and then the rest are just gonna be chests and then i'm going to put the chest over here so this will be my chest area. So I'm going to mine up this chest. Uh, should I do it on this side? Yeah, I'll be fine here. And then here's where I'm going to put items that aren't tools. I think that'll work out. So pebble will go in stone. And all this stuff is fine. All this stuff is fine. There we go. We've got some organized chest. We've got this going. I think the next thing I want to do is go to the resource world or the hub, see if I can buy some iron. So we'll go to the hub. Uh, actually, hold on. Homes. Let's see. I'm going to create this set home name slash set home. Austin, bam, you have created new home. So if I go to slash home, I can go here and then teleport here. Perfect, awesome. All right, let's head to the hub. All right, hello there. All right, we're going to go look for some shops. Uh, see if there's any like iron places to buy iron or not. I don't know if there is. Uh, Cosmo Cosmetics, the fabric, oh, fabric furniture, here we go, okay, it's always been a dream of ours to sell our furniture, it allows us to work together every day, okay, so, sofa chair, oh, that's 500, that's 125, that's 500 for a desk chair. Oh god, this stuff is expensive. Uh, what about you? Nope, you're also 500. Okay, I need to figure out how I'm going to actually make money. How do I make rubies? Why is that a slash? I do not want a slash. How do I make rubies? Hopefully someone can tell me. It looks like we got farm area over here. wonder if I'm allowed to... 
get more rubies from mining the ore custom crops and selling them to Jacko, trading with other players. Okay, that's cool. Thanks. Is this Jacko? No, this is Otis. Can I just... Nope, can't break. Where's Jacko the Jack-O-Lantern? Are you Jacko? Let's see, what a lovely place. Okay, I've unlocked a new bloom location. But that doesn't help me out any. I don't know where Jacko is. Wait, this is Jacko's. It says so right up there. Jacko's farm. So I need to find Jacko. Oh, there we go. This must be Jacko. Howdy. You must be new around here. Okay, looks like I got a quest. Cutscenes. I love these cutscenes. These are amazing. I'd like to teach you about how you can use our planter's box. A planter's box can be used to farm a wide variety of amazing crops. The box was invented by my friend Dr. Jekyll. He's over here. He's now he's actually I can't read it fast enough. Okay, so it allows us to start farm. Okay. Oh, it looks like I got a planter's box. Nice. Okay. And we'll just put the planter box right there. Fertilizer. I am in game time. As long as your planter box is watered. Well, how do I water my planter box? Water. Okay, watered. Your planter box must be watered in order for you to do that. Watering can be done with buckets, watering cans, and even sprinklers. So I need some of my iron here. Oh, just enough, actually. All right. There we go. Cool. It's watered. Soiled using soil allows your planter to grow. Purchase from Jacko's Market at the stall. Okay. Seeds. Fertilizer. Alright, so I need fertilizer so slash hub. Said I could get it at his stall, but I don't see a stall. Oh my god, look at this dude. I've been making improvements to farming technology. Take a look. Oh, watering can. Bag of soil. Here we go. Awesome. And I can buy that. A wooden sprinkler. Okay, cool. Alright, so I got some fertilizer. Let's head back home. And then we'll go fertilize this plant. And then I'll call it a call it an episode. Cool, so it's been fertilized. I mean soiled. Alright, so this is not grown yet. I'm going to put my can inside of my items chest here. And then I'm going to light up this pathway a bit. There we go. Just a bit more light to this area. I do actually really like the house. It's not like anything groundbreaking but I like it it looks pretty okay all right so this is still growing and uh, I guess that's gonna be the end of the episode thank you very much for watching this on uh, it's a pretty interesting server I'm not going to lie this is it's it's mostly been me freaking out about all the cool stuff that they've added to this it's, it's really 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 neat you know uh, stuff that I kind of wish was in regular minecraft I mean it just it's it's really cool concept the people who made it are super talented and again the ip is down in the description so you can play uh i know i mostly spent time building the house but yeah uh we'll get some more quests and stuff done so yeah uh and look even international players we got someone speaking spanish there if only i knew how to speak spanish i will see you later if you enjoyed the episode you know what to do uh goodbye Oh, they're now on the forehead.